Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. We talk about the very best in boxing, pound for pound. And we all have different lists, right? You talk with one, with one person, they'll have... Manny Pacquiao on the list, right? You talk with another person, um, they'll have James DeGale on the list, right? Floyd Mayweather, obviously on the list. Andre Ward on the list. Um, Vladimir Klitschko on the list. Um, perhaps Sergei Kovalev on the list, etc. We all have different lists, right? Some might even have Canelo on the list. Well, let me tell you, there's a fighter fighting tonight on the Golovkin-Monroe card that is on my list, right? I don't talk about this guy a lot because he's fighting down at lower weights, right? He's fighting at flyweight, and this guy's only five foot three inches tall. But I need to have you take a very long and hard look at Roman... Chocolatito Gonzalez, right? This guy is unbeaten. For the old timers, this guy is literally channeling Marvin Hagler in the ring. And by Marvin Hagler, I mean a fighter who, right, throws short punches, right? Economy of movement can fight you up close is walking you down but isn't in a rush is a master at angles to the point where he doesn't have to raise a hand he knows that if he's close enough to you he knows that if he's inside your wheelbarrow right if he's inside your wheelhouse so to speak he knows that if you're throwing a right hand he doesn't have to worry about it he has a shoulder in the way. He has his head leaned to the side. He doesn't have to raise a hand. He's figured out that the angle at which you're throwing the punch, it can't get to him. Right? Boxing's a lot like baseball. In baseball, great pitchers have the same windup, regardless of the pitch they're throwing. So a guy has an easy windup, he could easily be throwing a fastball or a changeup, or a slider, right? First of all, the great pitchers have several pitches, right? Second of all, you're guessing on the pitch, which is throwing off your timing, right? If you guess changeup and he throws a fastball, the fastball's by you by the time you swing, right? That's Gonzalez. Gonzalez looks the same right not a lot of wasted movement at all just like marvin hagler you don't see his upper body moving like this you just don't the guy is still it's still water right but you don't know what the guy's throwing the guy's up on you you don't know if he's coming up top you don't know if he's going down low right and understand the guy is playing chess the punch he throws isn't the last punch he has in mind. I have a video up right now. It's in my favorites folder. Uh, Lee Wiley One. I'm going to pub this YouTuber because he's placed a great video online where he focuses on Gonzalez's footwork, right? What he's pointing out is Gonzalez is always ready to either throw punches or to defend himself. He's never out of position. His feet always allow him to do one or the other, right? He's not running away from the pocket. He's not stumbling around. He's not overexerting himself. He's focused, right? Um, the YouTube video also shows you his punch pattern how he'll hit you in the ribs with the right hand knowing that you're gonna have to respond to the punch 
so he can shift himself in position to throw a right hand up top. Right? Understand, this guy is an elite fighter. He's won his last eight by KO. Folks, he has an unbeaten record with more than 30 wins. He's already had titles in more than one weight class. Very low-key personality. Right? Because he's not flashy, his fights tend to be just non-stop methodical destruction until the other guy wills. I'm expecting him to beat Edgar Sosa tonight. Right? Understand, Edgar Sosa beat Giovanni Segura. Looks good. The problem is, Edgar Sosa has a lot more movement. It's kind of like Willie Monroe versus Gennady Golovkin. Edgar Sosa has a lot more movement and gets caught up in shootouts. And that's exactly the wrong kind of game plan against a methodical, efficient killer like Roman Gonzalez. Right, so pay close attention to this fight. Just look at how Gonzalez, without looking like he has the car in fourth gear, right, just look at how Gonzalez in control walks down his opponent, cuts off the ring, throws very hard short punches, doesn't get hit, doesn't get cut, and somehow is able to do all of this from close range. Right? Master Boxer, definitely worth the price of admission. I hope you give this guy a look. I'm expecting him to successfully defend the flyweight title tonight. Right? Longtime boxing hardcore types are comparing him to one of the mythical figures in the sport, unbeaten Ricardo Lopez. Right? That's how good this guy is. Because understand, Lopez is a huge name in boxing among the boxing hardcore. Right? So take a hard look at Roman Gonzalez. Just understand that it's going to look like the other guy has accidentally run out of real estate. Lopez is not going to look like he's breaking a sweat. He's that efficient. Right? His game plan is as easy as Mariano Rivera's easy wind-up before he's throwing 95-mile-an-hour split-finger fastballs. Right? Just understand, Gonzalez is at the top end of the game. The great fighters make it look easy. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.